There are a handful of innovations in human history that have had a profound impact on the human timeline. The invention of writing, the invention of language, the invention of farming. Fusion has the potential to have a similar impact. I can't imagine a more compact device, and that's the real draw. It doesn't require magnetic field coils, no superconductivity, no external auxiliary heating. I don't think anyone's working in fusion who's looking for an easy problem. In terms of having an energy source that's always on, that's uh, reliable, um, it's hard to beat something like a fusion concept. Everybody is all in on this project because people believe in the science, people believe in the concept, and people believe in the mission. So all these things make for an extremely exciting environment. And that doesn't mean just the scientists who we work with. It means all of the engineers. It means all of the operations folks who actually make it happen. It's an incredibly galvanizing thing. It's sort of like putting a lightning bolt in a jar and taming its instabilities. Technically, it's one of the most extreme sports you can play. There's high energy densities of every description, high electrical power energy densities, high thermal power energy densities. Where ZEP is unique is that we're using one of the original ideas called the Z-Pinch to do the confinement. But our secret sauce, as it were, our new technology is this concept of shear flow stabilization. We get to do things at scale. We get to have multiple machines operating at the same time. And these are all things that are really necessary to bring fusion onto the grid at a time scale that makes it relevant. We've reached an inflection point in the technology sphere that allows us for a real shot on goal this time. We know that our iteration speed is one of our superpowers. That we can design, build, and commission a new device within a year. We want to develop a new energy source that's better than anyone we've ever built. And Fusion has this capability, and in particular, Zap's technology has that capability. Existing approaches haven't delivered commercial fusion, and I saw an opportunity to identify a different type of technology, and specifically where innovation could happen rapidly. And I think there's a very strong recognition that Zap has a credible path to be the first commercial fusion company that puts electrons on the grid.